Have you ever wondered what God requires of you? You may be aware of Micah chapter 6, verse 8. It, it actually uses these words to paint that picture of what God wants from us. It even says, what does the Lord require of you? So Micah 6, 8 poses that very question. It's interesting when you think about requirements, it's not really the meaning of that Hebrew word for what does the Lord require. It's not like there are these requirements in a sense. If you were to look up that word in the Hebrew, it really means to seek or what's sought out. So in a sense, what is God looking for in us as his people? What does he want to see? Well, he wants to see us as being Christ-like. Our character should be like that of Jesus Christ. So when he poses this question, what is God looking for? What does God require? Here's what he says. He lists three things. He says to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So as you begin to think about that, let's look at this very first aspect of character that God is looking for in us as his people. He says, first of all, to do justly. To do justly is an important character trait that God's looking for. And just has to do with justice. You think of a courtroom type of a scene when you consider a verdict or what is fair, what is right, what is equitable. That Hebrew word for justice or just doing justly means that, that God is looking at how we treat others. Do we treat others in the right way? And what is our standard for living? That has to do with doing justly. And I think of a passage in Romans chapter 2 that correlates with this thought of doing justly. And here's what it says in the book of Romans. Romans chapter 2, God speaks to this idea of justice, how we treat others, and the standard that we judge by. And he says this in Romans chapter 2, verse 6, that ultimately God will render to each one according to his deeds, eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But on the other hand, to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, we find indignation and wrath. And then the list goes on. But, verse 10, glory, honor, and peace to everyone who works what is good. And so what we see here, we're to do justly, to walk in justice, to walk in fairness, to put on the character of Jesus Christ, and... We live by that standard of God. And so as we consider what is God looking for, think of this first aspect, to do justly, and ask yourself, what actions can I take to live more by God's standards? It's His standard of justice. It's His standard of righteousness. So this is a wonderful fit place for each of us to begin. What is God looking for in me? Well, to answer that question, I need to ask myself, what should I be doing to live more by God's standards? Let's think about that. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.